So we are here today with Brandon, aka Digibomb. There you go. And you're here for three days at the Kung Fu Conference? Yes, I am. Well, I have the luxury of living in Montreal. So. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you were from, from Toronto, right? Well, I'm originally from here. Spent the last seven years in Toronto. And you now came back. I've moved back. Okay, and you did a conference this morning about uh, WordPress team development. Can you right. talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so the goal was to essentially uh, show people that WordPress is not just a blog anymore. That there's a lot more you can do with WordPress. Anything from forums to shopping carts to websites or any kind of other um, complex web-based app. Anything that's not just a blog. Um, so the idea was to give people a really good understanding of how uh, basic theming works in WordShop, uh, WordShop, uh, WordPress, yep. um, and to show you know PHP coders because this is a tech event um, how the code works. So how PHP functions inside of WordPress, um, how they can use that to adv their advantage. And then we also quickly talked about customizing the back end and uh, working with jQuery for better UI. So really interesting. And you told me earlier that you were uh, kind of impressed about the yes. how many people showed up at that conference. I was extremely impressed. Um, I do a lot of WordPress stuff. I don't work for WordPress. Um, but I'm a huge fan of their software and I've been using it for years and I'm a contributor and I know the guys well. And I find it's something that goes over very well in design communities. Um, so in all the big design festivals and conferences you get a lot of WordPress people. Um, typically when it comes to, the, or the blogging uh, conferences you yep. get a lot of it, but when it comes to like the hardcore tech stuff, like a, a techno event like this which is, you know, PHP guys and Python and, you know, C Sharp and there's a lot of hardcore developers and programmers here that, that, that don't really care about the front end as much. Um, typically the turnout for something like WordPress is a lot smaller. People don't usually use it or know about it or care about it. Um, that's obviously changing because today was packed house. There were so many people in there. They were standing and uh, it was really great. I think it was a great presentation. It went over well and people learned a lot. I was there and it was a great oh, presentation. <laughs> what was the level of the people in the audience? Um, well, you know, I always poll people. And again, so more than half of them actually were familiar with WordPress, which I also found interesting. And I would say the level was there were no designers in the room. They were all developers. So I would say the level was definitely uh, intermediate to advanced, probably, probably more advanced. Uh, in terms of development, not necessarily in terms of WordPress. Yeah, yeah. You were mentioning earlier that uh, people still think that WordPress is only and only a blog, right? That's right. Um, and what can you do, what can we do to change that mentality? Um, well, basically, you know, people need to play with WordPress yeah. and take a look at WordPress and see how it functions and understand that it's just a PHP app, so it can be more than a blog. And I think really to change that mentality is by doing more presentations like this at these kind of events to let people know uh, that it can go beyond just a blog. Um, and there's a lot of really great like showcase websites out there, websites dedicated to showing well-designed WordPress sites. Um, and it's amazing because a lot of the time today you'll end up on a website, you won't even realize that it's being done in it's WordPress. WordPress yep. um, a good friend of mine, Nick Law, who's a phenomenal designer, WordPress guy, runs a showcase site called Best Web Gallery. Uh, he's been doing it for years. And he's told me in the last few years the number of websites that get submitted for his showcase are more and more than are WordPress. He said it used to almost always be Flash, and now it's almost all WordPress. Like it's really, and big, big companies are switching over to WordPress. In your conference, you talked about jQuery yes. and how you were to uh, how you were a Flash developer before. <laughs> I uh, mentioned that I used to be a Flash <laughs> developer. That my long, long, long time. And ago. what made change your mind? Um, a lot of things, I guess, really. I mean, I just got tired of using Flash because it was just so dependent on a lot of stuff. It was very yep. time consuming. It was very expensive. So as a freelancer, it was very tough being a Flash freelancer. Um, I somehow came across WordPress mostly because I wanted to start my own blog. And I played with it and I started getting involved with some open source stuff and learning about what open source was. I didn't even know what open source was. Learned about open source, found out about all this other stuff, got really involved and I just kind of slowly made my way there and kind of forgot about Flash. I started spending so much time. And then you discovered jQuery. Then I discovered jQuery. Uh, yes, sorry, that was the original which, question. Which made Flash <laughs> irrelevant. Which made Flash irrelevant, yeah, because with jQuery, uh, you can just you know, do the same, get, get the same kind of UI, uh -huh. right, uh, without having to be dependent on any kind of player. Of course. Uh, the real turn on for me was at FSOS, like I was saying in the, in the thing, uh, when I saw the guys from uh, Dojo Toolkit and Moo Tools, yep. and I couldn't believe that that was being done. And it, was, it just blew me away, and now jQuery comes along. jQuery is just amazing, such an amazing UI, and easy. Absolutely. I think you also do a little bit of Drupal? 
Yes. What, um, what make WordPress still your platform of choice? It's more intuitive. It's all about the end user in the yep. end, which is what I had mentioned in my presentation. As long as the people who are using the WordPress site once it's all finished to manage content can easily access that information um, and, and maintain that information and modify it um, is what's key. And I found that implementing various different CMSs uh, on client projects, the feedback I always got was it was hard to understand, hard to use, took a lot of training, just wasn't obvious. Uh, with WordPress, everybody loved it. Everybody found it very easy to use, extremely intuitive. You know, it changes with every version, new things come here and there. You, you always have to show people how to use it, but it's the most intuitive and easy to use. I personally used in the past, I think, WordPress 1. Point whatever, and then <laughs> I came to 2. Point whatever, big change. And there was a big change, a huge change. What do you think made that possible, made that that the WordPress people make that change happen, which was amazing? Because so many guys like myself who were using WordPress as a CMS instead of a blogging engine. So we were hacking it a lot. Yeah. Um, back in version 1.5, 1.7, I used to hack WordPress to make it do what I wanted to do. There were no pages, so I had to hack it to make a page. You know, I had to create all of the functionality that it has now in code. And I think the WordPress community, uh, especially those responsible for WordPress, uh, started realizing that, hey, look what a lot of these developers are doing. They're trying to use our system as a CMS. And the average user is asking for some of these features too. So let's you know, do it. Joe Schmo wants it. So it was just a matter of evolution. It was something that had to happen. And it's taken WordPress from a blogging engine to a real full-fledged uh, CMS. System. Awesome. Now the number one system in the world. Of course. <clears throat> we have a few little time. I introduce <laughs> you as Brendan, a.k.a. Digibomb. Digibomb. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it's your company, I believe. Well, my company on this, I work for two companies. I work okay. for a company called Optimal Payments here in Montreal, and we're merchant processors. Okay. So we handle a lot of large accounts online. We, we do other payment processing. And I do some stuff on the side with a company called Digibomb, which is my company. And that just came to be because my nickname was Digibomb. And, um, and that's how I'm known online. Uh, and what are the services you're providing with that company? Now, mostly, well, now it's basically all WordPress. All WordPress. Um, yeah. And I do a lot of social now. The big thing for me is social media management, showing people how to brand a service, a product, or a point of view using social, social networks and blogs, uh, Twitter implementations, Facebook implementations, stuff like that. Is there something you cannot do in WordPress? Is there something you cannot do in WordPress? Um, Coffee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they're working on it. Um, no, to be quite honest, not a whole lot. I guess the only real thing y you can't do is, is, is use it like a real social tool. Yeah. in terms of actually making it like something like Facebook or WordPress. True. Brendan, thank you very much. All right, no problem. Great conference. Thanks. All right, thanks. I'm over time? Is that what that means? No. Eight minutes, it was perfect. Oh, perfect. Great.